So I'm pretty excited and pretty nervous at the same time. <laughs> We're gonna go take Raptor out for the first time. Woo! Perfect. Picture freaking perfect. So tonight we are taking Shirini out on a coon hunt all on her own. Well, that's good to know. Oh, there she goes. Oh, that's definitely a coon. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. The other meat. of uh, <laughs> celery sticks down there. <laughs> from didn't the didn't know they were on a diet. <laughs> Which some, is from the compost. They got have. some healthy rats here. Eating celery. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's another piece right here. Yeah, there's and more. a bunch. Who'd have thought rats would be munching on celery when they've got unlimited supply of protein and calorie rich grain. Get up in there. Get up. There it is, it's right there. There's a rat. Rat's right there. Look, 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 look out. Shooty, get up here. Get in there, get in there, shooty. Get up here, far side. Far side, get up here. Get up here, shooty, get up here. Good girl. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Good girl. Okay, bring it here. Good girl. Bring it here. Good dog. Bring it here. Good dog. Oh, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Ha ha, we got it. Sucker made us work for it. This is the male of the, of the pair. Jeez, they made us work for it. Those dogs knew it was in there. Got to trust the dogs. I was doubting them. I was thinking, man, they sending us on a wild goose chase. What's going on here? They got it. Yeah, they're pretty lucky if we didn't come sooner. 
they'd have had a whole family of rats. There's a big old male, big old female. When it took long for there's a big old litter of babies and they'd have had a heck of a mess. We had this exact setup in front of the Martin's backyard. Exact same setup, identical. And they got a rat the exact same thing. And what it did was it switched back and forth. So I'm gonna try moving some of this side. So it doesn't just keep moving. Hello. Because they usually have tunnels underneath that go to the next side. Sure. Where's the rat? Where is it, Shani? Where's the rat? Oh yeah, look at all those tunnels. And it's nice and dry. I want to see it. See the little tunnels? Oh. Boss. Come right here. We need this thing right here. Good boy, more. right there. Good boy. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Okay, let's see what's going to be the easiest way to do this. Good girl. You getting close? Spots her brush right now, what would she do? Just crunch it. Oh, I see it! I see it! It's right there! Ooh. Get her off! Get on this! Get on this! There's a big one! Sit on this! Boss! Boss! Good boy! Oh, there's a rat right there. Oh, I saw the rat. I saw the rat. He's right there. Good dogs. Good dogs. That's good dogs. Yeah, it's a big one. That's what was digging under the fence. Good dogs. He came to the wrong neighborhood, rat. Yep. They'd go in the wood pile after him, huh? Yeah. But if they could fit. Oh, oh. But get it, get it, get it. He's still in the water. Get under. I think he's in the water. Good job, Gremlin. Where is it? Good dogs. Where is it? Good job. Get it. Good dogs. We got it. We got it. Good dogs. Where'd it come from? He's in the water. He's just hiding. Oh, he's hiding in the water. Yeah. Good jobs. Good dog. That was uh, a quick, easy little uh, get the problem under control before it becomes a problem type situation. That rat, you know, was a female, could have quickly had a litter within the next, even if it wasn't pregnant, within the next month. It only takes them three weeks to give birth. And then from there, we've got a dozen rats, you know. And from there they can breed and have yet another litter. So one rat, believe it or not. So a rat can have anywhere from half a dozen to a dozen babies, you know, give or take a few um, in one litter. It takes them three weeks after breeding to give birth. And then they could technically give birth an exact three weeks later. If they can get bred the day they give birth within 24 hours of giving birth, they're ready uh, within that 24 hours after giving birth, they're ready to breed. They can get pregnant again three weeks later, have another litter of half a dozen to a dozen. Three weeks later again, three weeks later again, three weeks later again. Obviously, in real life, that doesn't always happen that way, but they potentially could. Now, those babies that she produces, when they are a, a mere eight, nine weeks old, they can breed. So a little nine-week-old female can then, three weeks later, have her own litters, and you could just see how quickly things get out of control. So even though it was only one rat, it's good that we got rid of it before it became many rats. And it doesn't take very long for that to happen. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time.